One of the issues, sadly, that you see coming across your desk and into your office today that has a bearing on the English speaking ability and proficiency that the first generation citizen has is the fact that they have the lowest level of education of any minority group within the United States of America. The literacy level of Hispanic first generation individuals. Look at the statistic from the last census that a third of Hispanics over the age of 25 have only a ninth grade education. And in our construction classes, when we provide English as a second language services, which we do sometimes, I have had my instructor call me up from Black Mountain after class was over saying, Melita, I don't know what I'm going to do because we started working on the alphabet today and there were three gentlemen in there that couldn't do the alphabet beyond the letter P. And that tells me they can't read the pretty book that their employer just bought for them. We're going to have to work on the alphabet and start from the ground up. So when you look at the language that we speak and the complication that is the English language, where lots of silent letters, lots of things that are irregular, lots of different accents, that's one of the reasons why it's difficult for this first generation individual to under, un, interact with you and be able to answer your questions. So part of what we're doing here today is developing a strategy so that you can understand what you can do to help them understand you better even in English.